After months of silence, the drone world has suddenly come alive again. The long wait for concrete information about DJI's next small drone, the DJI Neo 2, seems to be finally coming to an end. For months, drone fans, creators, and tech enthusiasts have been refreshing news feeds, waiting for something real about this compact drone. Rumors had been fading, leaks had slowed down, and it almost seemed like DJI had quietly shelved the project. But out of nowhere, solid details have surfaced, and they're big. According to multiple sources, the DJI Neo 2 is no longer just a rumor. It's real, it's coming soon, and it's loaded with upgrades that make it one of the most exciting compact drones we've seen in a long time. DJI has apparently decided to keep the fun, lightweight personality of the original Neo, but under that familiar shell, everything has been re-engineered to deliver more power, more awareness, and more creative freedom. The timing of this leak isn't random either. For months, insiders have been hinting that DJI had a packed product schedule for late 2025. Many expected the Neo 2 to launch alongside the Osmo Mobile 8 and the Mic 3 Pro, both of which belong to DJI's growing lineup of creator-focused gadgets. The Osmo Mobile 8 has already gone on sale in China, which all but confirms that DJI's next focus is indeed the Neo 2. According to fresh leaks, the launch could happen before the end of this month, and some reports even point to an official unveiling on October 30, 2025. That rumored date came from a credible source, Quadro News, a channel known for accurate early info about drone hardware. Their teaser claimed that the Neo 2's launch would happen just before Halloween, followed immediately by open pre-orders. If true, this would mean that DJI is gearing up for a late-year push, perhaps to dominate the mini-drone segment before 2025 wraps up. Now, what's really drawing attention isn't just the launch timing, it's the massive list of upgrades that this drone is rumored to bring. DJI seems to be targeting both beginners and professionals this time. For casual users, the Neo 2 remains easy to fly and light enough to skip some of the strict drone regulations that apply to heavier models. But for experienced flyers, DJI has packed in technology that was previously reserved for much larger and more expensive drones. Let's start with the design, because DJI hasn't strayed too far from what made the first Neo such a success. The Neo 2 sticks with that ultra-compact, sub-250-gram build, making it travel-friendly and safe for new pilots. The body still looks sleek, rounded, and simple, but look closer, and you'll spot subtle refinements everywhere. The propeller guards have been redesigned completely. They now feature a double-layered structure that not only improves protection but also helps with airflow efficiency. This makes a noticeable difference for indoor flights, where airflow stability and safety matter most. DJI clearly wants the Neo 2 to be just as confident indoors as it is outdoors. But the most obvious visual change, and probably the most important, is the addition of new omnidirectional sensors on the front of the drone. This is a massive leap from the limited obstacle detection system found on the first Neo. The original model was fun but basic, it could sense obstacles in front but not much else. The Neo 2, on the other hand, is designed to be far more aware of its environment. With these new sensors, it can now detect objects in multiple directions, helping it avoid collisions and navigate tight spaces with ease. This kind of awareness completely changes how you can fly the drone. Imagine flying through narrow corridors, under trees, or between buildings, all without worrying about bumping into something. That's the kind of freedom DJI is trying to offer with the Neo 2. The sensors aren't just for safety, they also make the flight experience smoother, smarter, and more intuitive. According to industry watcher Jasper Ellens from Drone XL, the Neo 2 might even use infrared or LiDAR-like technology for its obstacle detection system. However, given the Neo 2's incredibly light design, it's unlikely to feature true LiDAR hardware. Instead, DJI might be using advanced optical or infrared sensors that mimic the behavior of LiDAR without adding bulk or power consumption. This approach offers many of the same benefits, such as improved depth perception and motion tracking, but in a small er, more energy-efficient package. That's a clever move by DJI. They're balancing weight, performance, and cost to deliver something that feels premium without crossing into professional drone territory. If you're familiar with DJI's bigger drones, you'll know how advanced their sensing systems have become and seeing that trickle down to a mini drone is a big deal. Move to the back of the Neo 2, and you'll notice another interesting upgrade. The antenna and transmission systems seem to have been completely redesigned. 
From leaked images, there's a visible digital receiver and antenna setup that appears to support DJI's OcuSync 4.0 technology. For those unfamiliar, OcuSync is DJI's proprietary wireless transmission system, and version 4.0 offers ultra-low latency and incredible range. This means smoother video feeds, more reliable connections, and nearly delay-free control, something you'll really appreciate during FPV-style flights or when recording high-speed footage. DJI wants this drone to feel responsive and reliable even when you're flying farther or in more complex environments. OcuSync 4.0 also plays a big role in live viewing experiences, especially when using DJI goggles or the motion controller. With this system, you get crisp, uninterrupted real-time visuals. That's something we rarely see in small drones, and it's another sign that the Neo 2 is aiming to bridge the gap between entry-level and enthusiast drones. Now, let's talk about what might be the most exciting part of the upgrade, the camera system. This is where DJI truly flexes its strength. The Neo 2 was rumored to feature a 1-1.3-inch CMOS sensor, which is significantly larger than what the original Neo carried. This sensor size puts it in the same range as DJI's more advanced mini drones, giving it a noticeable edge in detail, low-light capability, and color accuracy. The sensor is mounted on a two-axis gimbal, providing smoother footage and more stable tracking even during dynamic movements. While it's not a full three-axis system like on professional drones, this setup still offers excellent stabilization, especially when paired with DJI's electronic image correction and advanced horizon balancing algorithms. The Neo 2's camera is expected to record in 4K at 60 frames per second, supporting 10-bit HDR and D-Log-M recording. These features mean creators can capture cinematic quality video with vibrant color depth and flexible dynamic range for post-processing. For context, a 10-bit HDR video can display over a billion colors, offering stunning detail in both highlights and shadows. That's a huge jump for such a small drone. Even more impressive is the rumored 13.5 stops of dynamic range. That kind of performance allows for an incredible level of exposure control and image richness. For anyone who loves shooting in golden hour light or challenging environments with deep contrast, this level of range means the difference between flat, washed-out footage and rich, cinematic visuals. And since this is DJI, we can expect intelligent shooting modes that take advantage of this sensor power. Though not all features have been confirmed, we can safely assume that the Neo 2 will support quick shots, hyperlapse, and auto-exposure bracketing, along with AI-assisted scene detection. That means you can simply tap and let the drone handle the rest perfect for beginners and social media creators who want professional-looking shots with minimal setup. Another subtle but meaningful change is storage. The Neo 2 reportedly includes 22GB of internal memory, more than enough for short clips and casual flying sessions. However, one small disappointment is that it still doesn't appear to include a microSD slot. While that may not bother everyone, advanced users often prefer expandable storage, especially when shooting in high bitrate 4K. Still, the built-in storage ensures you can capture great footage anytime, even if you forget your SD card at home. Now let's discuss power and endurance, because this is where lightweight drones usually struggle. The Neo 2 is powered by a 1600 mAh battery, delivering an estimated 19 minutes of flight time. That might sound modest compared to bigger drones, but for a sub-250 gram model, it's quite solid. DJI's engineering focus here is clearly on balance, keeping the drone lightweight while maximizing energy efficiency. On top of that, the Neo 2 has a level 5 wind resistance rating, meaning it can handle breeze. Why conditions without drifting or losing stability? It's also capable of speeds up to 16 meters per second, with a maximum range of about 10 kilometers. That's seriously impressive for something this small. Whether you're flying over open fields or capturing shots in an urban environment, the Neo 2 seems built to maintain confidence and control. It also brings several new smart flight features, including gesture control, voice command, and auto return to home. These tools make it easy to operate without constantly relying on the controller, giving users a more natural and hands-free experience. DJI has also included an acro mode, which is great news for advanced pilots who like more manual control for creative or FPV-style flight paths. And of course, it wouldn't be a DJI drone without quickshot modes. The Neo 2 includes six of them, allowing users to capture dynamic, pre-programmed movements, things like droning, circle, rocket, or boomerang, all with a single tap. 
These modes are perfect for social creators who want cinematic results without having to learn complex flight patterns. All of this points to one clear vision, DJI wants the Neo 2 to be the most fun yet capable mini drone on the market. It's designed for anyone who wants to experience professional quality flight in video without dealing with the size, setup, or cost of bigger drones. The Neo 2 feels like DJI's answer to a simple question, how powerful can a pocket-sized drone really be? And from what we've seen so far, the answer is very powerful. Even though DJI hasn't officially confirmed the Neo 2 yet, the leaks and insider reports line up almost perfectly, which gives this launch a lot of credibility. Every detail, from the sub 250 gram weight to the new sensors, to the updated Ocusync system, fits into DJI's ongoing trend of making their smaller drones smarter and stronger. In fact, when you look at DJI's broader strategy, it's clear that the Neo 2 is a key part of their push toward accessibility. Not everyone needs a massive drone with an advanced camera system and an intimidating setup process. Many people just want something compact, safe, and fun to fly that can still capture beautiful content. The Neo 2 fits right into that vision. So that's the full breakdown so far, from the launch timeline and design tweaks to the advanced sensors and upgraded camera system, the Neo 2 looks ready to make a huge impact.